हेलो लर्नर्स टुडे आई एम आल्सो गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ ड्रामा सीरीज वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द ड्रामा बीइंग डिस्क्राइब्ड इन आवर टेक्स्ट बुक्स एंड अबाउट द फेमस ड्रामा एंड द टर्म्स ऑफ ड्रामा वन बाय वन सो टुडे आई हैव टेकन अ फेमस ट्रेजिडी ऑफ विलियम शेक्सपियर दैट इज कॉल्ड मैकबैथ and you all are well acquainted with this name so before going through this uh, slides these all slides let us try to understand some of the features of the tragedies of shakespeare you know shakespeare was a dramatist who is a very significant who has been a significant drama writer from the early age to the present age and it is because of its excellent uh, you know penetration into the human psyche he has written the drama in such an objective manner that his own personality is never impactful or has any impact over the drama rather the characters which he is dealing with are always as if the same character or the original collect character was speaking so uh, it is the uh, you can say that a uh, kind of uh, a speciality of shakespeare's drama that it is always of all the ages moreover he was the dramatist who experimented with dramatic drama form and when everybody was uh, you know following or trying to follow the classical rules of drama which always comprises of three things that unity of action unity of time and unity of place unity of action unity of time means the drama should not exceed the limit of you know more than 24 hours mean whatever scene is being described or whatever plot is being described in the drama over the stage while performing by the actors while being performed by the actors that it should not take the span of more than 24 hours otherwise it would just uh, spoil the unity of the plot as greek writers used to say the same way unity of place there should not be variation in the places variation should be there but it should not be uh, like that that one place you are taking here and one place you are taking in the next scene uh, uh, you know 1000 miles apart and 2000 miles apart and in other country and you are frequently changing the countries in the scenes it somehow uh, you know had an impression that uh, it is it takes away the uh, audience or spectators because they will somehow feel like when they are involved into the emotion that there is some artificiality involved with the play because uh, human mind generally do not accept a uh, switching of the places so easily so third was the uh, unity of action that uh, the plot or the story which is moving actually should only be focused with the main protagonist of the plot or hero so these were the actually these three were the uh, uh, unities of drama given by greek classical scholars but shakespeare was the person who took the risk and he experimented with the form and he didn't actually accept these classical form he infused some of the good things from there but he always experimented so he was the person who actually didn't follow the classical unities and that's why his forms are you know tragic comedies also where comedy and tragedy is mixed so i am taking macbeth the tragedy and uh, this tragedy is one of the best tragedies written by shakespeare and you should also know that tragedy was the genre which mark the zenith of the shakespeare's career because he started his career with somehow of uh, some of the comedies which were not so good in content and in you know 
maturity then the second phase came when the best comedies like 12th night and other comedies are written and then finally his peak of the career zenith of his career was the time from 1603 to 1608 where the best of the tragedies and best of the dramas were produced plays were produced by william shakespeare and it was in jacobian age because elizabethan had died in 1603 and james i has taken over so it is during that period this tra tragedy was <coughs> introduced so uh, macbeth is a great tragedy by shakespeare and even a uh, great hindi film is also produced upon that and that film is uh, named as magbul where you know that our versatile actor irfan khan who is no more now uh, has played the role of macbeth so it is again a film worth watching if you want to understand the macbeth thoroughly so let us start with our uh, drama and the book basics about macbeth the first slide says book basics book basics mean the important information about the book so the year written was 1606 i told you that all the good tragedies were written from 1603 to 1608 so year is 1606 and the genre is of course tragedy because tragedy is that where uh the play ends with a tragic note and the protagonist generally reaches to its uh, his end and he uh, reaches to his tragic end and everything goes tragic the same way <clears throat> uh third point which is historical source is very important shakespeare has actually taken two sources majorly so it is uh, for roman tragedies or other tragedies he has taken or historical plays he has taken or historical plays he has taken chronicles of england scotland and ireland which was uh, there on the main source for historical play uh, that holing rafael holingshard has written these chronicles so these were uh, the source of historical plays and for roman tragedies he has taken plutarch's lives so plutarch was a uh, writer and he has written plutarch's lives these are two sources basically so here we will take because it's historical so holinshard's chronicles is the source and literary age of course is elizabethan age the golden age of english literature which is span from 1558 to 1603 and elizabeth has come to rule in uh, england and everything apart from literature developed during that era so this was the background now come to the historical background of the book a question may arise in our mind was macbeth really a historical figure so that it is placed as a historical drama of course the actual macbeth ruled scotland from 1040 until 1057 and killed his predecessor duncan 1 however this killing took place in a battlefield near the scottish town of elgin rather than under macbeth's own roof macbeth was defeated by malcolm the step son of king duncan at the battle of lumfenan actually yes there was a figure macbeth though the incidences of the life do not match exactly at the as the play was written and uh, that is not uh, necessary also because the author or the poet always takes his own freedom to just represent the plot in a powerful way or according to his own uh, flight of imagination so original macbeth was killed in a battlefield while you know that here uh, sorry original uh, duncan was murdered by macbeth in a battlefield while the duncan uh, in the play is murdered in the castle of inverness uh, where uh, macbeth used to uh, stay so there is there are differences uh, in incidences or the place of incidences but of course there was a macbeth originally and his son's name was also malcolm who defeated uh, macbeth uh, later after his father was murdered now very important information about the play is this play uh, is always connected with some of the 
you know sometimes tragic events or sometimes some incidences which make made this play very controversial in nature so let us start <clears throat> the first thing is the play depicts a regicide therefore it was banned after the execution of king james's son charles 1 in 1649 its uh, treatment of witchcraft has also created controversy you know that king uh, J- james's son charles 1 who came in carolin age from 1649 to you know 16 59 uh, and in civil war one of england he was uh, you know captured or he was made prisoner and then he was uh, put to a, a court trial and uh, he was then beheaded he was executed and then oliver cromwell took uh, the throne and this Char- king james's son charles one uh, you know when he was there the theater were closed in during the civil war 1642 to 1659 theater were closed in england so the play has also a regi side therefore it was banned this was the first uh, event connected with the uh, play and uh, many times uh, uh, incidences of bad luck uh, are also connected with the play for example notable instances of bad luck associated with performances of macbeth jaise uh, we can say that falling equipment and actors uh, falling from the stage uh, you know sometimes equipment failed during the performances sometime actors who were performing in the stage they fall from the stage while performance they fell down and such kind of uh, incidences were always connected with the play uh, one of the most uh, you know you can say that known instance was 1849 riot in new york city esther's place where this drama was being performed performed and the fans of two different actors uh, who was performing the title role of macbeth they actually uh, somehow had heated arguments and they had uh, clashes there and uh, then somehow it it took uh, the form of riots and 22 people were killed during the riots so this was again connected with the performance of the play despite these incidences macbeth has remained one of the shakespeare's most popular and frequently performed play it doesn't mean that the popularity of macbeth was reduced rather it had always been a, a forever gain drama whom always the spectators wish to see so let us talk about the major character of the play the major character protagonist of course macbeth is a thane of glamis and thane of cardor he ascends to the throne of scotland by murdering the king his treachery becomes his undoing so he becomes treacherous and uh, he kills his own king and after becoming thane of glamis and thane of cawdor and uh, he is the protagonist who comes to a tragic end lady macbeth of course is no less than macbeth because she is the person who is behind you know stimulating the uh, the wishes and forcing the desire to kill the kill his own king duncan and uh, she was later you know haunted by the guilt and uh, later she uh, becomes mad and dies in the play which is of course has great role because shakespeare had generally introduced supernaturals in his dramas and which is are also known as the weird sisters collectively make predictions that drive macbeth's ambition and bring about his defeat actually which is are the characters who drives his intentions to become king inside the heart of the macbeth and he always crave for becoming king due to the prophecies done by the witches duncan of course is a king of scotland and macbeth kills him to obtain the crown despite duncan showing him much favor apart from this some other characters are banco the other general 
of king duncan who was a fellow friend or fellow or friend of macbeth also then the son of duncan malcolm and then of course uh, the other son macduff so there are uh, the famous characters and let us go to the character map which is very interesting in this character map i have tried to uh, sketch out entire uh, you know characters and their actions also and their deeds also and uh, their personal relations also if we see the red circle where the protagonist is described macbeth who is than than of glamis and he becomes king of scotland after murdering the king the arrows which has two heads they represent that the both circle are interrelated and uh, with each other while the arrow which has one one head actually uh, indicating towards only the circle which is towards the head side of the circle so let us talk about the brown circle macduff the thane of five defeats macbeth in battle macduff is the person who defeats uh, macbeth in battle and the arrow with two head describes that macduff is enemy of macbeth and macbeth is enemy of macduff the same way malcolm duncan's son he uh, run away from after duncan was murdered in the castle so he is also enemy of macbeth and macbeth is enemy of malcolm whereas macduff and malcolm are interconnected as allies they are friend and they become friend in order to defeat macbeth if we see the dark blue circle duncan king of scotland murdered by macbeth it is uh, he is the father of malcolm and the same way macbeth murders duncan king of scotland it is shown by red arrow lady macbeth is a spouse of macbeth or macbeth's wife and co conspirators the same way macbeth and lady macbeth both are interconnected with the arrow banco macbeth's friend and fellow lord he was murdered by macbeth because he think that the prophecy by the witches where uh, which is says that banco would not become anything but banco's son will become the king so macbeth macbeth thinks that banco should be murdered so that nobody uh, comes in front of macbeth as a challenge uh, of course witches influence macbeth's action by unclear prophecies so this is character map and now very important is plot diagram of this tragedy and uh, plot what is plot actually uh, a story is just a sequence of actions and plot is the management of that sequence of actions or the fixing of the action in such a way that uh, to get the H, uh, to get the desired impact on the spectators or readers mind so in order to get the desired effect the writer sometimes takes the freedom of uh, you know fixing the sequence according to his own will so that maximum uh, maximum uh, impact of the play can be uh, achieved so plot is actually that thing which is uh, very important so generally a plot diagram is there about you know tragedy of shakespearean tragedy and this plot diagram is very important in this there are five uh, sequences the first is exposition second is rising action third is climax fourth is falling action and fifth is resolution the exposition means the first thing is beginning of the story where characters and setting are introduced exposition brings us that very part of drama where uh, the base of coming incidents is done and then the slowly it prepares the spectators for the coming events wherever rising action where the main character faces a series of conflicts here in rising action the actor or the protagonist involves in some such kind of conflicts that it creates tension and uh, spectators feel that tension in their heart and then comes the climax which is the most important part of drama the most exciting part of the story when we learn the outcome here actually drama reaches to such an important point where the decision of the protagonist 
is most important and if we take a decision the incidence is turned towards other side if he takes wrong decision he may fall and then falling action even leading to the end of the story and <coughs> at last the <coughs> events falling action actually are the falling actions after the climax and slowly it leads towards the end of the protagonist or it towards the tragic end of the protagonist and resolution is of course end of the story where we come to know about the conclusion of the play and the tragic end of the protagonist so these are the plot diagrams and i have shown it uh, through numbers here in the next slide that introduction takes place in one uh, number A rising action 2 3 4 5 6 6 climax 7 falling action 8 and resolution 9 so let us understand what these numbers mean in according to the macbeth number 1 introduction what is the introduction in macbeth <coughs> in macbeth which is prophecy that macbeth and banquo's son will be king and here the introduction of this drama is there and three witches are there who meets macbeth on the way when he is going to meet king duncan with his fellow banquo after uh, this defeating all the uh, those rebels uh, for which king duncan has employed macbeth there so let us talk about rising action so there are these rising action macbeth and lady macbeth kills duncan macbeth becomes the king this is the first thing which creates conflict and tension seeing banquo as a threat macbeth has him killed and i have already told you that macbeth thought banquo as a great threat so he kills him which is additional prophecies make macbeth feel invincible and additional prophecies of which is that nobody can uh, born by a woman can and just kill him so he big thinks himself invincible though he was uh, later killed by a person who was uh, born by a cesarean macduff induces duncan's son malcolm to fight for scotland again macduff meets with duncan's son malcolm and they become friend and allies and they think of fighting with macbeth lady macbeth becomes insane and dies and due to the guilt of murdering lady macbeth who keeps on uh, washing her hand and uh, the famous remark that all arabia all sense of arabia even cannot um, keep away all this uh, you know from my hands this all are very famous remark so these are some rising action and the climax reaches when malcolm leads troops into battle against macbeth after this falling action is there macduff kills macbeth on the battlefield uh, that was the outcome of climax and at last resolution malcolm takes his place as rightful king of scotland malcolm is brought uh, made king of scotland because he was the heir of uh, king duncan so uh, students i have taken only the introduction part of the macbeth in this slide uh, and in this lecture because it is a long drama to discuss in the second part i am going to discuss the summary and the important point uh, of the summaries and in the third part of the lecture i'll take uh, that famous quotes the explanation of famous quotes and the theme of the play and uh, other important uh, things the symbols used in the play which are, which is a very important aspect of the play so this whole series of macbeth drama will be completed in three video lectures and keep reading and keep enjoying i hope you will have uh, some ideas developed in your mind after going through this slide thank you have a nice day